Welcome to the first video in CADPOINT's Interior Design Shop Fit Out Workflow series. In this video, we're going to quickly run through the process of creating a presentation set of drawings for a feasibility pitch with the aim of getting a 3D visual and some 2D plans out at the end. First thing to notice is that I'm already in my interior design template file, which gives me such things as the right floor to floor heights, in this case, 0 to 4 meters and some families already loaded in. The first thing to do will be to draw the external walls. I'm just going to select for the height of the walls to go up to the first floor. I'm going to draw on the finished face exterior. I'm just going to run around the outside here. I know this first dimension is 8400. I'm just going to drop this dimension down to roughly there. I'm just going to quickly run around here, I'm not really paying attention to the overall dimensions as I can select these temporary dimensions here and I want this dimension to be 3750 and I'll have my overall width to be 12 meters. If I just move in and show you what that looks like in 3D you can see automatically we're getting our 3D view generated. Okay, The next thing would obviously be the floor what I'm going to do is just press the tab button that selects the floor. We're just going to create our floor being the 225mm suspended floor. We'll finish that floor and we'll go straight into the ceiling plan and create our ceiling in pretty much the same way as our floor, a generic ceiling. We'll move quickly into our 3D view to show that it's also updating. What we will do now and create our 3D camera, our camera view, just going across here like so. So here we are in our new 3D view, our unfurnished 3D view. I think what we can do here, we can start to swap out our components for our proposed components. So we'll change this to the stone floor and we'll change our ceiling to our salon 600 by 600 grid ceiling. Now that's not only changing the shaded view here, um, the hatches, but it's also applying materials um, for later on when we do our rendered view. If we move on to our ceiling plan, we can align this grid to our walls and lock that in place. So if our wall moves, our grid will move with it. Moving into the ground floor, what we'll also do here is add in our doors, spacebar to flip the orientation, and using our active dimensions we can move these doors around. Back into the 3D view, we can see that's updated automatically in there, and now we can add in our lights to our ceiling plan. So we place that in the centre of the grid, select the component and we can array these. I'm not going to want to group them, I'm just going to array them. I know there's 10 to go across here, 10 number, to be spaced for every 1200, every two tiles. What we can also do, we can select a number at a time and array these. Again, not grouping them, and we want one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six number arrayed every 1200, every two tiles. We'll array those up. 1200, like so. Moving back into our 3D view, you can see our lights have now been added. Back into the ground floor, we can start to add in our furniture now. So we're just going to choose a salon mirror. I'm going to place that in there. We're also going to put in our chair. 
place in our cabinet. Now these, what I'm placing here in Revit are called families. Um, if you're used to working in AutoCAD, they're quite similar to blocks. What we can do here is select all of them and just move those out 1200. So everything is going to be in keeping with our ceiling grid. What we're going to do, we're just going to array these. I'd say about five of these maybe along this wall. Every 1200. And we could just copy another one in there. 1200. Okay, now we can select all these and mirror them. along the middle point of that wall there and we can just copy a few more a multiple copy every 1200 I think that will do last piece of furniture to put in we can put in our sofa, spacebar to flip the orientation, we're just going to place it in along the wall there, and we can just, we can either align our sofa with the wall, if we move back into our 3D view, under ZA, we may just want to hide a few of these elements by right clicking and hide in view element that's not deleting those elements that's just hiding them and you can see we've got quite a realistic shaded view here and we can change this to be a hidden line view if we like move back to shading with edges okay i'm just one more component to place i think to bring the drawing to life I think I have a shelf here, that's right. I'm just going to place that in the middle of that wall there. Okay, now if we move back into our 3D view, and there we have our finished 3D view. Now we can come down here to the render dialog box. We can choose to render on high for quite a good quality. We want our lighting to be internal artificial only and we're just going to click the render button here and a little while later your render is finished so we're just going to save this to our project we're going to call it interior view one we close this down and what we're going to do we're just going to open up our renderings move into our interior view one and there you can see we have our finished view that brings to an end the first video in this series in the next video we'll look at creating the presentation sheets for this project